In this step, what we're going to do is to glaze the bisque ware. These are the ones that came out of the uh, kiln. And it's been fired once, and now it's going to get glazed over and fired again. This first glaze that I'm using is called Mount St. Helens. Uh, it was made by a friend of mine, and he's using the actual uh, ashes from Mount St. Helens. It also has copper in it, so that uh, when we do the reduction, it'll come out different. So what I'm going to do is to do these four with the same glaze, these four, but these will go into reduction, and these will be in oxidation, and you'll see the results. Next, I'll do the bridges. Um, on the glaze, you really can't tell the color from the actual color because it's all a chemical reaction. And some of these, um, they come out differently depending on the temperature it gets fired to. So there's a lot of um, interesting effect that happens. So we'll see what happens when we do this. So I'm going to do this with this color and I have another color that will come out. So this is my reduction side, oxidation side. This looks darker but it may or may not come out dark. On these water basins, I'm going to do the same color combination as the bridge with one exception. Now that I've got the water basin glazed partially, this is blue. It doesn't look blue, but this should come out blue. So what I'm going to do is to put the blue on the inside so it represents water and maybe water coming off the side. And so that's what I'm going to do with all four. Okay, everything is glazed. Now everything it's going to go into the kiln for the firing tonight. Okay, let me explain to you what you're going to be seeing or may not see in the dark. This will be glowing with flames coming out. I'm going to turn this off, carefully take the cover, now the temperature in here is close to 2000 degrees and the object that I'm picking up, it would be glowing because it's very hot and I'm going to take this, put it into this container and it has newspaper in there and you catch fire. And then I'll put two, three, four, five objects in here and it'll be burning. What I'm going to do next is to take the lid, put the fire out. Make sure that it doesn't, it's sealed up real good. I'm going to take wet towels. and water it down. That's what I'll be doing in the dark.
this is the results as I took it out of the kiln and cleaned it up. This side is the group that stayed in the kiln and cooled naturally. This group came out of the kiln when it was still very hot and went into the chamber, caught fire with the shredded newspaper, and the cover was put on to put out the fire, but more importantly, to cut out the oxygen. And so this process is called reduction. And when there is no oxygen, the copper uh, metal on, in the glaze turns metallic. So that's the result of reduction. Now the example in the middle did not go into this firing. And this is from a previous firing, but it's the same glaze, but at a different temperature. So you could see the difference that we get with the same glaze on a different temperature and difference in reduction and oxidation. That's what makes Raku so much fun and very artistic.